So there are a couple of requirements that you need to know. There are limitations to this technology. Um, first one, uh, the user has to have your app. You can't just spam people on the street with random messages. They, they first, they have to have your app. The second one, um, the user must have the app on. That was just until iOS 7.1, which was released like a week ago. That's no longer the case, so scratch that one off, which is great. It, it's reducing friction for you know, this iBeacon experience. Uh, so the, the third one here is the user needs a Bluetooth low energy compatible device. From then, they need the Bluetooth on, and then the user needs to opt in to receive these iBeacon messages. So with great power comes great responsibility kind of deal. Um, this is a really powerful technology, and if you're a jerk, you can do all sorts of crazy things with it, but you're gonna make a lot of people mad. I think everybody has this like doomsday scenario in their head where they're walking down the street, and every business that they walk by, it's like, hey, 10% off, hey, come on in for a free drink, you know? Nobody wants to experience that. But people do want to walk by their favorite businesses and have the option to receive those messages. So maybe as I walk by a Starbucks, I can get a reward when I walk by it, but only if I choose to do that. So kind of my three rules here are don't spam the shit out of people. Uh, don't send repeat messages. So let's say that you're inside a Best Buy. Don't send them the welcome message four times. Just send them that very first time when they're walking through the doors. And most of all, uh, provide value. You know, give the user something that's meaningful to them, and they're going to respect the service that you're providing. And they're not going to delete your app. 